If you're new to our channel, I'm Sarah. My husband Matt and I run a laser engraving business from our home, Homestead Engraving. We also practice the homesteading lifestyle, have four kids, a homestead, we're busy, and we have a whole lot of fun. Today I am getting some random orders packaged up, and Matt is ready to turn on the lasers. So I got all the blocks done and painted that I need. There's a shipment coming today, so I'm gonna do some more painting when that comes. But in the meantime, I forgot to change the filter on my fish tank, and I normally do that in August, and it's September now. And see the red stuff in the bottom? Well, I gotta do a water change. So clean that all up, put the new filters in. So this will be the second water change. I normally do one a year. This is a run. This system is primarily runs on a no water change. It's to make the coral and everything living going good. You just got to watch your water parameters, which I check every month. So I'm gonna do the water change on this, and then when the box, hopefully the box will be here on lunchtime, and I can do those. But we also have to pull things out of the garden because it's just that time of year. everyone so I am headed out to the garden it's been a busy day Matt and I have been working a lot I'm actually trying to get our website up and going and it has been a long process I have been working on it for two years and I wish I were exaggerating but I just looked and I started on September 5th of 2018 so over two years just crazy I wonder what I've been doing for those last two years, why I haven't gotten it done, right? <laughs> so I'm out in the garden because it is starting to get cold out here in Minnesota. And today I am going to be harvesting all of our peppers. Whether they're green, whether they're turning a little bit red or not, it's time to harvest them, so. Pretty bell pepper, reddish, green, reddish, orange. I know if I don't pick these, I'm gonna regret it because I'm gonna come out here one day and we're going to have lost them all. But we still, you see that? Have new buds on the pepper plants. So it's just crazy. I'm not gonna pull the plants out. I mean, if we end up getting another um, warm wave of weather. Maybe we'll get a couple little ones. And I do have big plans for our king peppers. Something we're gonna try this year that I will um, show you. I'm waiting for some supplies to arrive and I'm gonna do something with some of these plants to see if we can um, get them to last a little longer. So Matt and I thought it was really interesting. We planted all these king peppers from seeds and then we got a bunch of plants from a family member and the king peppers all grow upside down. We've never had a pepper that did that before, but it's kind of cool looking. 
Um, and then sometimes if they get big enough, they're flipping over, which is interesting. So I'll think I completely have a plant cleaned off and then I start looking at it from another angle and there's more peppers hiding, which is so exciting. Where you guys live, do you get a lot of peppers off your plants? We probably have about two dozen plants here just to get enough peppers to last us a few weeks, maybe if we're lucky a few months, but we love peppers. <laughs> That's why that greenhouse up there is gonna be so awesome this year. We've got pepper plants growing in there. And we've got other plans of what to do with these guys. We're just gonna try to expand our garden season, make it longer, always trying to grow, make more food for our family, just become more and more self-reliant. So here is what we got for our bell peppers for the season. We've probably picked about a dozen or so really good sized peppers. And again, about two dozen plants. Our king peppers did not grow as big and as fast as that other variety, but they're really healthy plants. We have so many flowers still, and I left all the peppers that were like a bite size or smaller just in case we get some warm weather and they continue to grow, I am not going to stop them from doing so. So over where we have our lunchbox peppers, which just kind of are like a small sweet pepper, we've only picked three ripe peppers. So three, they were like a, I think they were orange, orangish yellow. And we have a couple turning, but the rest are still green. Here's the few that were um, turning, and I'm gonna pick those. I think I'm gonna pick the green ones too. They have a similar flavor to a green pepper, so it'll work great for freezing. I'm just gonna chop all this up and freeze it so we have it for, we love to make omelets, but anything with eggs, um, we'll put our peppers in. It's great for a hot dish or anything I wanna use it in. I just wish we had more. So now that all of our sweet peppers are picked, it's time. <laughs> the chickens think I have a treat for them because they came out there like following me around. Their run is right behind our garden. So they've got all this area to clean of grass and bugs and everything. But they think I brought a treat out with them or with me. I was recording them and I think they thought that must mean I've come with something for them. Sorry. Sorry girls, we just learned that uh, we're pretty confident we don't have any roosters, which is really funny because we purchased one variety. I'm not 100% sure, Matt will correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was the Lavender Orpingtons. That may not be correct. One of the gray chickens, we purchased kind of a mix where you don't know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get some roosters and some hens and we we're kind of hoping to have a few so that we could continue that line as far as breeding goes so that we can hatch some chicks ourselves next year. We have done it before, but it's been a few years. We were trying to do the math the other day and we realized that Lydia has never experienced hatching chicks, but Leroy remembered it and Evan for sure was born. So we think it must have been at least three years ago, maybe even four. But we would like to do that again. But I think we got all hens. Six for six hens. And all the rest we did order hens, so that's correct. 
Do you see that little guy? He's almost camouflaged. Hey, buddy. <laughs> almost picked him instead of a jalapeno. We might not have enjoyed that proper, huh? So we don't have too many jalapenos that had to be picked. We came out last week and picked all we could. And what we did is Matt cleaned them up. Thank you, dear, because I do not enjoy cleaning jalapenos. I have to wear gloves and I still somehow managed to touch some area of my face or my hands and it's a whole thing. But anyways, we, he cleaned all the jalapenos. We stuffed them with cream cheese and some chopped up bacon. And then we flash froze them, threw them in a freezer bag. And now we have ready to go jalapeno poppers that I am hoping will come in handy this winter when we want a quick treat for ourselves. We tend to get really busy with work when Christmas is around the corner and it'll be really nice to have that kind of nice adult treat. Although Matt and I have already broke into them a time or two. So I love to pick some cayenne peppers, but I don't have a single red cayenne pepper. They are only green right now. I'm not sure if you can pick them green, if they're hotter, if they're not as hot. I really have no idea. So if you have any, um, tips or advice on that for me, will you please leave a comment down below? I do have enough cayenne pepper ground up in the cupboard in the house to last well into next year for um, as far as adding to our dishes. We like to use that ground up cayenne powder for tacos, chili, even eggs. So they say chickens are descendants of dinosaurs, right? And I sometimes find that hard to believe. Try throwing a rotting tomato to a whole bunch of chickens and just watch them run towards it. It's kind of terrifying. All right, so I ended up with this big green basket almost full of sweet peppers. I picked the end of our jalapenos and I also picked a few beans and any tomatoes that were red or turning red. Green tomatoes are still in the vine. I need to get them picked. If I don't get to it later today, it has to happen soon, really soon. Do you see that? I have been working so hard on this website on and off for two years, crazy. It's starting to look like a website. There's a little sneak peek there. Will it change? Yes, probably. When will I get it finished? I have no idea. Will it be before Christmas? I sure darn hope so. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Glad you got to see us again. Bye.